What is this commonly seen white flowering native plant? And what is its deadly secret? This abundant woodland wildflower is white snake root, Agaratina altissima, and it can be seen blooming in profusion from late July through October across most of the eastern United States. Although we don't really think about it today, in days gone by, white snake root was the cause of a mysterious ailment that often ended with death. Milk sickness or puking fever is a sickness brought on by a mixture of toxic compounds known as trimetol, which is found in white snake root and can be passed through the milk and meat of cattle that consume the plant. White snake root is extremely bitter and herbivores will not eat it unless they do not have any other choice. Dairy cattle were not always kept in cleared pastures like they are today. In the past, cattle had access to woodlands and shady areas where white snake root prefers to grow. In times of drought, cattle would seek out these areas as they often contain the only green plants, which included white snake root among them. If a dairy cow ingests white snake root, the trimetol it contains will affect the cow, giving it a condition known as trembles and may eventually kill it. In the meantime, the trimetol is concentrated in the milk and meat of the affected cow. The milk looks and tastes no different than unaffected milk, and if it is consumed by a person, they will become poisoned and develop milk sickness and have a high probability of death. This is what is thought to have killed Abraham Lincoln's mother, Nancy Hanks Lincoln. While all of this is frightening, today's farming practices, coupled with the fact that we now know what actually causes milk sickness, makes the probability of contracting it in these times extremely low. The farmers of yesteryear had no idea what caused milk sickness, and it actually wasn't until 1928 when trimetol was isolated and proven to be the compound that caused milk sickness that we knew what caused it. Today, if white snake root is seen grown in a pasture, farmers will generally remove it to keep the cows from having any chance of eating it. Which of course is good news for those of us who like milk, cheese, and ice cream. Although white snake root does have a scary side, it is an important plant for pollinators since it tends to bloom late in the season. A variety of native bees and flower flies utilize it for both nectar and pollen, and it is a host plant for several moth species. I welcome the snowdrift-like waves of white snake root flowers that fill the woodlands of the farm every fall at a time when most of the other wildflowers are starting to fade. Please pollinate that like button and be sure to watch more Backyard Ecology Nature Notes right here.